help. My Google Merchant account is suspended due to misrepresentation of self or product. What should I do? If you've encountered this issue and your Google Merchant account is suspended, you're not sure what to do next because Google has just sent you this generic email and pointed you to a number of resources, then this is the video that you need to watch. I'll explain to you exactly what are the policies that you need to follow, which areas of your business and product pages you should look at and make changes to so you can resolve those issues and get your account approved as soon as possible. Hi, I'm Floris Lin, the ROI doctor who helps small businesses and online stores get more revenue and sales by getting on Google and YouTube page one. <laughs> When I first started helping Shopify store owners to get their products approved on Google Merchant's account, I saw many of them encountering these issues where their account is suspended because of misrepresentation of self or product. It's a very common issue, so you are not alone in this. Many Shopify store owners are equally clueless when they are faced with this issue. <laughs> Google wants to make sure any products or any store who wants their products to be listed on Google Shopping, you have to be honest, you have to be upright, and whatever products are put up there should be what they say it is. Misrepresentation of self or product basically means that somehow or other the products or your store information that's listed on Google Shopping itself, when customers click on one of the products that's going there, it's leading to maybe a store or a specific product that's not stated as what it is. And Google takes this very seriously. Google wants to compete with Amazon for the e-commerce market. So they want to provide Google users a safe platform where shoppers can go onto this Google platform and know that whatever products that they find on Google Shopping can be trusted. So without all this information, rightful information put in place, this could result in Google suspending your account because they feel that you are trying to mislead customers, you're trying to cheat them of their money, or perhaps you're selling something like a bogus product that's not of high quality. Google doesn't want to associate with such merchants and so you have to prove to them or submit information to them so when they're doing their due diligence check on your store and your products itself, they will see that everything is exactly shown as what's being stated. <laughs> Google Shopping itself is a service that's used by 2 billion browsers last year to look for new products and services and it's for free. So unfortunately, there's nothing else you can do aside from making sure you are providing the correct information so they can approve your products. I'm going to explain to you the four areas where you can go wrong when submitting your information so you can go back to make sure those information are corrected and you can resubmit your products so Google can do another review and eventually approve your products. The first thing you should be looking at to resolve misrepresentation of self or product is missing information about your business or products. There are eight parts of your business information to fill it up properly and to validate this information for Google. Number one, returns policy. You need to state exactly what your customers need to do if they were to return their product and ideally you would have a page dedicated exactly for that so you can submit that in Google Merchant's account. Number two, shipping information. You want to list out properly what's the turnaround time and what users should expect for the entire shipping process. Ideally as well, you would want to set up a page, one page exactly for that, so you can submit that URL for Google to check that as well. Number three, sales tax. If your business requires you to add on a sales tax to your products, you want to list that outright as well on your store or on your product pages so customers know what they are in for. Number four, contact information. You want to offer ways for customers to communicate with you so you should provide your contact information or like a contact form so users can submit information to you and contact you if they have any questions about the products or for checkout or for payment. If you don't have any of that set up, you might want to check on those pieces of information and make sure that it's set up both in the settings of the Google Merchant account 
and as well as on your website. Make sure all this information is right there. Number five, clearly stating what are the different payment methods that customers will be able to use, whether is it like a credit card or debit card, Apple Pay, Facebook Pay, whatever. You want to list those information outright so customers know exactly how they can make their payments for you to get those products. Number six, business description you want to list out your business description properly there will be uh, settings business information which you can set up in google merchants account as well as on your website itself you want to provide similar information so google knows that you are describing the same business make sure that they are aligned so you are not misrepresenting your business in front of google number seven validate and ver verify your website there will be a section where you need to list out your domain name and they will ask you to verify your website make sure that your website is verified because there are some people who list their products on a different domain name as compared to the store where it's listed on so what happens is when someone clicks on google shopping they are being led to a different store then google will see that has deceit so you don't want to do that make sure you verify your website your store domain to make sure that you are submitting the correct piece of information. Once you have all your business information set up properly, then make sure your product information is correct as well. Any product title that is listed on your product should be the same as what Google Merchant is receiving. You have to make sure the prices are the same as well as what you are sum submitting to Google. All the products you are submitting to Google and what's listed on your website, the product title should be exactly the same. The URL should be the right URL. The prices should be the right pricing as well as it's set in the right currency. So make sure all of those are set up correctly otherwise you are misrepresenting your product go through your due diligence make sure all this information is submitted correctly if you are confident that you don't have any missing information then the next thing you want to look at the second part is unavailable promotion let's say if you're running a certain promotions on google shopping but you are not running the same promotions on your website. So if someone click on it, where they see a promotion, they click on it and then it leads to your website where the same promotion is doesn't exactly exist, then Google will see that has deceit, that you're trying to cheat customers. If you're running a promotion, make sure you are setting the pricing right as like a sales price. If it's not, then you should be set up as a normal pricing make sure the pricing is aligned don't mention about promotion if it doesn't exist or if a promotion exists you need to update those information that you are submitting to google merchant's account also if you are running any promotion around buy buy to get one free anything to do with quantity make sure those numbers are correct as well and accurate so customers know what they are buying or what they are getting the third area that could possibly result in your account suspended is misleading or unrealistic promotion if you're an official reseller of a brand or product and you have evidence to state that you can put it in or if you have certain products which have certain benefits let's say you will see the results in no time at all that's not something that's realistic so Google might take that as you trying to exaggerate the benefits of the product unless you have a scientific claim or evidence to state the results of using the products you shouldn't be putting that in your product description examples of words that is unrealistic is by popular demand or you will see results immediately things like that to Google it sounds like you're exaggerating the benefits of the product because the results could vary individual from to individual so you might want to reword your product description or product title to make sure you're not making unrealistic claims so there are some people who try to use like maybe a different product image compared to their own product that's also not allowed you should show the same image as the product you're selling don't use other images that doesn't represent your product because to Google you're also trying to mislead the customers so make sure everything is legit and each of your products is represented by a true representation of the product itself so you can get your Google account unsuspended as quickly as possible last but not least the area that we sh you should look at to resolve your issue is hiding or misstating information <laughs> If you are putting up reviews that doesn't exist 
or if you're putting information that doesn't make sense at all then you might want to review those information make sure that whatever you're putting up as description for each of your products are legit and uh, has what it says if you over exaggerate google can tell just because you want to sell your products doesn't mean that you want to exaggerate your product description there are many people who might tend to pull the truth a bit further than what's needed but please don't do that otherwise google will treat that as you trying to deceive the customers so if it's not any of the three areas that i've mentioned earlier then you might need to relook at the wording of your product information and your business itself if you are still struggling if you need any help i will be able to help you because i help shopify owners get their google merchant center account approved as quickly as possible by reviewing their account and helping them to walk through those issues also if you haven't watched my other videos or if you need help in other areas for getting on google shopping i also have an entire playlist for shopify store owners to get their products listed on google shopping you can go and check them out if you need specific information on getting your shipping information set up correctly or tax information or any other problems you have like product identifier problems you can check out my other videos right here i'm going to put that down in the description and pin comments as well so don't forget to check it out if you found this video useful give me a like subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos on how to get your shopify store listed on google and youtube page one see you Bye.